What's happening, fellas? We're here at Mid Ohio. First night to camp inside the rig here. Just drove 3,200 plus miles from Whitehorse up north of British Columbia, 400 miles north of Alaska, southernmost part of Alaska to pick up this rig. And I got it set up for camping for the first night. I didn't really want to do it up there because, well, I didn't want to set up the slide room and have any issues in Alaska, you know, so far from home, from help. So, but this is, this is a pretty good place to, for the first night. So I just pulled up with the rig and uh, you can see it's lit up pretty nice at nighttime. It's loaded with a really nice light package. We upgraded the lights to the new LED style headlights. These things are super bright. The truck's filthy. We just drove, well, down a lot of dirt. If you've been following the, the, the vlog, down a lot of dirt roads. Let's get the VIT interior. Studio sleeper. Things in really mint condition. Can't wait to get it home and shine it up like a new penny. It's got the aluminum bull guard on there. Big heavy duty one. Let's hope we never need that. But uh, it's a pretty cool setup the way they got it set up here. They've got uh, a set of stairs that goes up into a door in the back of the studio sleeper. This is the biggest sleeper that Kenworth ever made for the T800. Uh, it's called the studio sleeper. So you walk up these stairs right here and right up in the back. There's a garage on this side that uh, you can put an ATV or a um, Harley in or whatever you want. Part in the mess. It's like it's like moving into a new house. But uh, I'm six foot two and this is like got uh, eight feet right here. And I can stand up inside here. Bank of batteries. 200 gallon water tanks. And uh, I got my little Honda generator. There's a 12 kVA generator inside this door right here, but um, it's got to be recommissioned. It hasn't been run in a few years. It's basically, it's got 59 hours on it. So I got the slide out on, out on this side. It's the first night I've had it with the slide out. Like I said, I didn't want to risk getting uh, stuck uh, with a slide out, you know. Things can happen. Let's go up inside and check it out. It's got a really nice door, lighted handle here. It's got the keyed lock out here, the um, numerical lock, but I haven't programmed it yet. So it's not what you'd expect to see inside of a, a semi. When you walk in, the first room is the is a bathroom with the uh, full walk-in shower here. This is the living room. Huge couch. These two recline right here. And that uh, turns into a bed, actually. Speaking of beds, it's a master bedroom. Shut the radio off. It's got the Alpine stereo, track vision, satellite, uh, compact disc, DVD player. So, big comfy bed. That's the uh, central air is, is right there. Um, this was set up so it could go into the Yukon territory in the wintertime. So, there's nothing protruding from the ceiling of this camper so if there was ice on the roof it wouldn't make a difference the vents are the, the vent that it has for the bathroom is on the side and the one for the air conditioner is on the side also so it's very unique it's got a full metal roof with zero protrusions unlike most rvs that have all kinds of stuff sticking out the roof it also allows it to be much higher too because you don't have the air conditioning protruding from the top it's got the full corian counters Really nice rock cabinets, self-closing, full-size refrigerator. Got peanut butter and jellies in here. That's it, without Christy here, starving. It's got the uh, microwave oven. This TV comes out on a on a sliding uh, ramp so you can sit and watch it right there. And if you go out the back, there's a mezzanine that um, I'm gonna have, bring it to Cobra Motor Coaches and have them set it up with a little desk right back here for Christy, so that'll be your office. It's a mess, pardon the mess. It's got a mattress back here, so it's a little, another sleeping area. But there'll be a desk for Christy down there. And uh, those are the, uh, it's a ladder, the great garage, which has a 11 foot, six inch floor to ceiling. There's also a recessed door here that um, opens up and uh, gives you some privacy with the master bedroom right here, which is nice if there's a lot of sunlight coming in or something and you wanna make it dark. Has day-night shades in all the windows. 